Hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, and we have a red box in front of us, or red and black at least, with a dragon. Of course you all know that NVIDIA has just launched, not announced, but it has just launched, and it is available for you to purchase if you wish. Their new 900 series video cards based on the Maxwell processor. Yes, that is the GM204 GPU. It promises to have some great new technologies. It's very, very good on power consumption, and it's supposed to perform like a banshee. Right now, I have the MSI Gaming G4 in front of me. So, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs first. Well, then we'll go ahead and unbox it, and we'll take a look at the card itself. itself. I'll flip it around so I could actually go over it with you a little bit. Of course, this is the MSI GTX 970 Gaming 4G. 4G denotes that it has 4 gigs of memory, of course. GeForce GTX 970. It is by MSI. It is one of their gaming editions, so we could see the now familiar dragon on the front. It is an OC, as you can see on the bottom, and we have a new twin frozer. The Twin Frozer 5, and I'll be showing you that in a second. If we flip it to the back of the box here, of course we're going to show a little bit about the Twin Frozer. You got a new Torx fan. They changed the uh, heat sink to an actual Super SU pipe, which is copper based. It has two 8mm super pipes and two 6mm heat pipes on it. The Zero Frozer, basically what's going to happen with this, anything under 60 degrees Celsius, you're going to, your fans are going to shut off on the actual heat sink, on the actual heat sink itself. Once it hits up around 60, it will turn back on. And of course, the gaming app. The gaming app will allow you to set your, set your OC on your card for different types of gaming. It will also put the card in silent mode, which will keep the fans off at all times when not idle. And then below that we have our specifications. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the accessories first. Then we'll take a closer look at the card. In the box, of course, comes the driver disc. Then we have our product series insert here, which basically just is a little bit of banter about the card, about the accessories that MSI has, etc. It's just a PR sheet. We have our quick setup guide. Now, I don't know why they did this, but they actually have a VGA to DVI in it, or vice versa, DVI to VGA. And because this card does require an 8-pin and a 6-pin power connector, even though it is only a 145-watt card, actually 148 on this card, they did supply you with an 8-pin and a 6-pin to connect it to your power. Now, of course, that probably is due to so this thing can overclock. And last but not least, and smells kind of fishy, but in any case, we do have a mouse pad. Don't worry about that sticker. That was actually over the heat sink, uh, and I pulled it off, and it got stuck on here so I can't get it off. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alright everyone, as you know this is not a reference design and MSI has made a few distinct changes to their Frozer design. The new Torx fans actually have a little bit more of a swoop so you get better downward force pressure, better static pressure on it and it also causes the, the design with the heat sink also enables the the air to actually go directly to the heat sink itself so it makes for better cooling when you actually need it and as I said these fans will spin up 
when it hits about 60 degrees and then it'll shut off. This card very rarely goes over 65 degrees and that's even with an overclock. As you can see, we did get this card up to 1567 megahertz with an overclock. So let's take a look at the shroud itself. It's got a nice shroud on it. It's very dense. It is plastic, but we have a nice little red area here, which is kind of like a sports car image, which goes down and fades into the black. And then we have the nice little dragon claws here up on the top and the bottom. So let's take a look at the actual front of the card or the IO plate of the card and see what it has. We have two DVI outputs. We have a mini, HDMI, and then a display port. Of course, the card is PCIe 3.0, and it is SLI capable. But that's not the best thing about this card. The best thing about this card is the new heatsink design. As you can see, as I talked about earlier, we have these super pipes which actually come around in a U. So these are the two 8mm super pipes here which then come back around the opposite side and I don't know if you can see that but these are the two six millimeter heat, uh, heat pipes. There is also a bracket on the, on the center here which actually cools the, cools the card. It's actually for the memory. okay, And then inside towards the front here is another heat sink which is actually on the VRM or the power supply. It does have a copper base which is towards, towards the front here. But other than that, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at the whole card. And as I said, it does require one 8 pin and one 6 pin power connector. It's not a reference PCB. We have the nice little the nice fans on here. Of course, they're 100 millimeter fans or 10 centimeter, whichever way you want to talk about them. So I'll go ahead and put this down, and I'll give you my final thoughts. performance wise very powerful it actually not by very much but actually beat the ATI or AMD 290X and it overclocked like a banshee I know I like to use that word banshee's good they scream they holler I like to scream and holler too but in any case 1,567 megahertz on an overclock. That's plus 225 with no additional voltage on it. Um, I can't complain about this card. It did very well. The only, the only dislikes that I have are the 8 and 6 pin power connector. I, figured, I, I feel that they could have probably did it with two 6 pins. And the fact that it has the mini HDMI. Uh, they didn't include an adapter inside the box and I mean not to say that they're expensive but it will incur a little bit of a more of a cost if you're using HDMI and you're using 1080 gaming. We're going to go ahead and give the MSI 970K 
gaming G4, a gold award. It's something that you de most definitely want to have inside of your system if you uh, choose this brand of video card. Again, performance speaks for itself. Cooling speaks for itself. This thing never went over 65 degrees Celsius when I had it overclocked to 1,567 megahertz. And I actually thought the card was broken when I first got it because it spun up, got into Windows, and all of a sudden the fan shut off. I guess I guess I guess I really need to start reading my uh, my information before I actually start testing a card every once in a while. But I was just so excited to get this get this on the bench that I neglected to actually look at certain things. This is by design that the uh, actual fan shuts off. Of course, with uh, any type of non-reference board, you are going to pay a little bit of a premium. The price on this card is $349 USD, which I think is very good. It's only $20 more for everything that you're getting more than the reference board. The reference board is $329. So I just want to say, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. We appreciate you watching. Make sure you share this video, of course. Go ahead and maybe like us on Facebook. Facebook.com front slash HTL Reviews. Follow us on Twitter. Twitter.com front slash High Tech Legion. And, of course, for the full review and to look at some nice pictures and get a better perspective of what I thought on this, Visit us at HighTechLegion.com, www.HighTechLegion.com, and that's H-I-Tech, not H-I-G-H. -I, I want to say thank you, everybody. Stay thirsty, my friends. I will see you the next time. Bye-bye.